Kate does it better. Megan turns into a disaster while trying to copy Kate with £300,000 jewelry. Meghan Markle sported a £3,200 Valentino white suit as she stepped out at the Invictus Games in The Hague today. The Duchess of Sussex, 40, may have been inspired by a look recently worn by her sister-in-law Kate Middleton, who opted for an all-white suit on a tour of the Caribbean last month. Today, Meghan sported a double-breasted wool blazer costing £2,100 which she paired with high-waisted pair of trousers costing £1,100. She daringly opted not wear a top underneath. Playing it more safe, Kate last month opted for a £1,370 fresh white jacket with matching £575 trousers from Alexander McQueen which she paired with a bright orange shirt during a meeting with the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Showing off her penchant for coordination, Meghan added gold embellishments to the clean-cut look. Going to Valentino all round, she wore a £2,200 off-white bag from the Italian designer. She also accessorized with a golden love pendant by designer Sophie Lee, which refers to a French poem about enduring and growing love. The necklace, first worn by Meghan in 2020, is made by designer Sophie Lee, carries the engraving key after a diamond encrusted plus sign, and Caderman followed by a ruby minus sign. The reference is an anode from the 19th century French poet Rose M. and Gerard, which translates to, Every day I love you more, more than yesterday, less than tomorrow. Adding an edgy look, she also opted for a golden chain around her hand. She completed the look with a pair of towering heels from Aquasura, which she first wore to her wedding in 2018. Earlier today, she was seen in a tobacco colored cashmere Max Mara coat worth £3,080 Max Mara which she previously sported the coat during a trip to New York in September. Sporting a natural makeup look, Meghan let her hair flow down in loose waves, and opted diamond earrings, which she wore to her wedding, and Princess Diana's Cartier watch. The watch, thought to be a present from Harry, was worth $23,000. £17,800, at the time but is now likely worth a lot more given its history. The elegant timepiece was worn by Diana at a number of occasions, including a 1997 visit to London's Sri Swaminarayan Mandia Hindu temple and an engagement at the British Lung Foundation that same year. Meghan is known to be a fan of the tank watch and splurged on her own two-tone version back in 2015 when Suits was picked up for a third season. Earlier, the couple chatted to the Ukrainian team ahead of the games kicking off, with their Netflix film crew in tow. Royal fan mocked Meghan's latest outfit. One said, the suit is far too big and boxy. No shirt? Tacky. One fan commented, Kate does it better and more natural. Kate has a stunning figure and can make pretty much anything look good. Another added, pant legs dragging the ground, yet again. Doesn't matter how much it costs, she makes anything look bad. One more said, you're at a sporting event where everyone is dressed casually but you decide to wear formal diner wear or a business suit attire. Meanwhile, another claims Meghan Markle paid tribute to Princess Diana by wearing what appeared to be her £17,800 Cartier watch at the Invictus Games. It is believed Meghan could own two versions of the watch, including the one once owned by Princess Diana. In 2015, the then-actress revealed she bought a Cartier Tank Frances as a celebration over her show Suits landing a third season. She told Hello! Magazine, I've always coveted the Cartier French Tank watch. However, it is also believed Harry gave Meghan his mum's Cartier Tank Frances in the early stages of their relationship. After Diana died in 1997, the watch belonged to Prince William but it is believed he gave it to Harry in or around 2009.